Hey everyone, Matt J. Doyle here with TAP Interviews. I'm here with the amazing Moses A. Weathers. He is an actor, director, writer, and poet, among other things. Moses, could you please elaborate and tell us all of the things that you do? And just to tell you, uh, just to let you know, you're on mute. I don't know why it keeps muting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so first and foremost, uh, I'm a man of God. I'm also an actor, a writer, a director, a producer, a uh, business owner, and uh, I'm a poet as well. Um, acting, I've been doing that for about 14 years. That's uh, my passion, among other things. Um, I love to create characters in realistic circumstances. So that's uh, one of the things I really, really enjoy doing. Um, being a director, I started my own entertainment company back in 2014. It's called Mo and Company Entertainment. I produced two short films with a third one on the way. The first one being Elude the Movie. Um, Elude the Movie got accepted into the Black Filmmaker Showcase in St. Louis, Missouri, and it was also a semi-finalist in the Los Angeles Scene Fest. And I also have uh, Love in All the Wrong Places, which is my second project. And that just got accepted into the Nice mm -hmm. Film Festival in Nice, France. It's a, a nice film market, actually. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. Um, I also have those uh, films in a few, well, the Love in All the Wrong Places in a few other film festivals uh, as well. So I'll wait to hear from those as well to see if I got accepted or not. Um, writing, uh, as far as that is concerned, I wrote, directed, and produced my first movie and my second film. I'm also working on a superhero project as well currently um, that will be called or entitled The Prince of Freeze. Uh, under construction with the title. So we're probably going to look to shoot that uh, definitely sometime after quarantine. So don't expect it to come out right now or us to shoot that right now. Um, I also wrote a project. It's called Freedom. I would like to actually submit that to a uh, major film company or a production company and or potentially um, uh, shoot it myself as well. Um, we'll see how it goes. I might try to do... Um, Try to do it myself while I'm waiting to hear back from a major production company, but we'll see. And uh, I also wrote another one called The Journey, and that is going to be a uh, spiritual film, spiritual based film that I would like to submit to Pure Fix or maybe own or any major production company that would like to shoot that as well. So that's something else I do. I'm also um, into credit repair. So if you need your credit fixed or repaired, contact me and I am the person to go to to hook you up with some good information on how you can do that. So I, I do that as well. I also have my own podcast. Yes, I do. It's called LA Actor Life to where I talk about my experiences out in LA thus far. And I also have guests on the show as well. And we talk specifically about the, di the different things that I'm doing, I'm working on, what my guests are doing or working on and different things that you can do in times like these, you know, while we're in quarantine and what actors, directors and producers are doing to currently uplift their career and move their careers forward and prevent them from being stagnant. So we talk a lot about um, just forward progress for entertainers during this time and just period, you know, everything that you can be working on, like on a daily basis in order to make sure that you're um, successfully um, doing everything you need to do to have a really great career. So yeah, that's that's pretty much a spill on what I do. Oh, and I'm also a poet. You know, I definitely can spit a poem as well if you like it. If you do that, um, I started writing poetry like some years ago, but um, you know, I recently got back into it, and yeah, I love it. It's it's great. It's it's an amazing experience because I can create um, really any any situation that I would like to create within the. Uh, the confines of my mind and bring it out to the general public just so they can know what I'm thinking, how I'm feeling, where I'm going with how I'm feeling and all that stuff. So and I'm also uh, I'll, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. I'm a motivational speaker and I'm a Christian rapper. So I'm going to come up with recently. I actually just wrote out a um, motivational speech that I will be sharing on YouTube. So look out for that. And I'm also a Christian rapper. I'm currently in progress of working on a few a few songs to put out 
with uh, some artists that I actually uh, am going to start working with. And um, <laughs> finally, pretty soon, I'll be putting out a poetry album. A lot of people don't know that, but I'll be doing that as well. That's still in the works, in the mix. You know, we got a lot of uh, songs that we have to put together or um, poems that we have to put together for that um, and songs as well. So, yeah, but that's pretty much what I do. Uh, I'm sure I can get into a few other things that I could I do or whatever, but that's pretty much the gist of everything I do. Awesome, Moses. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you on the success of the movies in the film festivals. Thank you. Thank and you. I would love to, one, hear a short poem, and two, some right. Christian yeah. rapping. Some Christian rapping. <laughs> I could definitely give you the short First, poem. we'll go with the poetry. Yeah, we'll give you the short poem for sure. Um, I could definitely do that. I can give you a little slurge about what the... Um, what the poem is about. And then I can actually give you a poem that I wrote a while ago that's in the, it can be used as a rap. So it's a poem, um, but it could be definitely be used as a rap. So it'll essentially be two poems. Um, the first one will be a straight up poem and the second one will be a poem that kind of can be um, a rap. But I, honestly, basically, you know, poetry is, you know, rap in a way. It's just, it's basically just, uh, you know, feelings and emotions conveyed on a piece of paper without music. So, you know, I could do uh, either one. So I'm going to give you this first piece. This first piece is called uh, Miss Lady. It's a piece that I uh, wrote to basically describe the things that I will say to uh, just a lady I'm interested in, a lady I want to be with, and just the future plans that I have with that lady. Um, it just yeah, it just as a as a man, we think of different things that we want to say to the woman that we're interested in. But sometimes we can either say it or sometimes we just don't say it. We just keep it to ourselves. Maybe we're nervous and we're not sure about it. So um, <clears throat> that piece pretty much goes like this. Dear Miss Lady, your vibrations invade my mental stability. I hope you feel in me because the motions of your hips is my remedy. You're my peace, my love, my joy, my passion. I want to speak highly of you, not based on infatuation, but through positive affirmations. Your soulful presence gives me chills from my head to my feet. Your captivating smile stimulates a heart without a beat. Your speech to me delivers warm feelings, never cold, and your way of life liberates my soul. Your eyes fluoresce, just like the radiating display of an LED. Other brothers say she a masterpiece. I'm saying, dude, you telling me. I believe she is the one. El Uno, say Louis. Baby, come to me so to you my emotions I can elaborate. But what would I say? Because the sight of you will make my thoughts evaporate. But your grace and elegance and your fragrance of intelligence will make me only speak to you like royalty with never any negligence. See, your way of life, you're a sight for sore eyes. You're the light from the sun that shines. And if a star fell every time I thought of you, the sky would be pitch black at night. See, your nuance of color and the shade of your tone makes me think of natural symmetry in its rarest form. From night to morn, I'm thanking God that you were born. Because your, <clears throat> uh, yeah, 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 because your physical reflection will uh, make way and be seen in my heart's reflection. I believe that's how that line goes. And I want our future arrangements to begin with an engagement, followed by a walk down the center aisle. And I never want to change this because you make me smile and you fill me up with laughter. I want you in all of my future life chapters, my Cinderella my happily ever after. And that's that piece. Um, wow, congratulations, that's fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I messed up a little bit there, but yeah, that's that's that piece. Um, that's okay, I have a couple of people on. Uh, first one is Mr. Eric Zuli. He's the gentleman I was telling you about from Easy Way Network. Okay. Uh, I wanna introduce you to him as well. Hi, Eric. And he says, hey, Matt, see you on our Wall of Fame virtual stage next weekend, easywayliveevents.com. Uh, Owen Campbell's on as well, and he's saying good afternoon, fellas. Good afternoon. What's up, folks? Yes, what's up? Thank you for watching. Uh, we have quite a few people on now, so thank you all for tuning in, and thank you to all the people that watch it later. 
So Moses. Yeah, appreciate y'all being here. Appreciate y'all showing love. Like real talk. That's a lot. That's that that means a lot. It means a lot <laughs> to people um in you know being interested in just watching uh um, live interviews and uh, just poets or just just artists just doing their thing, you know, especially during this time, you you all taking the time out to view uh, interviews like this. So it means a lot. It means a lot. Yeah, means a lot to us. So I will connect you with uh, Eric in the near future oh, later on sure. after, after this broadcast. And he said, good poem. He's saying good poem to you. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. Yeah. And I'm excited to uh, meet with you and uh, potentially work with you in the future for sure. Definitely. Uh, we're going to have to rap about that. Yeah. Eric's great. He, he's a good rapper as well. So okay. Owen is saying, what is your stance on President Trump? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, let, let me just say this. I'm not one to, you know, disrespect anybody who's in office or talk bad about anybody who's in office or say anything negative that really uh, about anybody in office. I will just say this, that um, God's in control. Um, I know that um, if any presidential figure is in the office currently or has been in the office period and they have made <clears throat> decisions that don't benefit the community um, and don't help us out in any kind of way, um, God's going to frown on that. Um, God doesn't like when individuals are in these high positions and they're making bad decisions or you know bad choices or whatever. So um, I'm not really big on politics. I'm not going to lie. And uh, I definitely don't um, send disrespect to anybody's way um, because, you know, I'm an artist. I'm supportive of uh, everybody I come across. I try to be as much as I can, um, even when it comes to e even when I'm seeing politics, like I try to look at like what the government is doing to support the community organizations because that's big because we really need uh as much support as possible now more than ever but even before this time we still needed a lot of love and support because um we you know we've gone through <laughs> we've gone through a lot you know 2008 we had uh was it? i believe it was uh, the stock market crisis and then we had the great depression the recession we have all kind of stuff this yeah. Then we had the swine flu, Ebola. Now we have this pandemic. So it's like, oh my goodness, you know. So I just pray that um, the government officials are doing the right thing. And I know they know what the right thing is and they just need to do it to the best of their abilities. I agree totally. God is in control and they need to do the right thing. And Owen Campbell said he agrees as well. Yusefa Jamil is here with us as well. Hi, Yusefa. And What's Eric going on? said, yes, uh, sorry. Eric said, sounds good, sir. Schedule something and we'll wrap together. And he said, go to easywayinfo.com. I will do that. Easywayinfo.com. Okay. Yeah. E-Z-W-A-Y-Info.com. -E but I will uh, connect you two together for sure. Oh, for yes, sure. Uh, but getting back to what you were saying, I agree with you. God is in control, thank God. And we all need to do the right thing and help and support each other. I believe that as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For sure, for sure, for sure, definitely. Uh, definitely. So, yeah, so you've pretty much told us, uh, you know, all the things that you do. And I just want to quickly ask you, what, is, uh, have, what do you do outside of all those things that you do in your profession? Sorry about that. Oh, no, you're good. What do I do outside of things in my profession? Oh, my goodness. Um, I like to watch movies. I like to uh, enjoy friends when I can't enjoy friends, of course. Um, watch movies that are in what comedies um, because these, and I like to watch movies in an intellectual way. You know, I used to watch them from a creative standpoint, like, oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Or an artist. Uh, and, and, and I'm sorry. An audience member standpoint. I'm sorry. Audience member. So I used to be like, oh, that's that's entertaining. Oh, that's cool or whatever. But now I'm watching them from more of a artist standpoint and more of an intellectual standpoint. I can say things like, oh, that's a good line. But here's a better line. You know, maybe they shot that side, but maybe they should have shot this side. You know, they did this phone call um, with this person on this phone. And that's cool. And it's interesting to do it that way. But why didn't they get the other side? You know, um, I'm, I'm always looking for I mean, I'm not, not going to say better ways but like just creative ways for 
um, cinematographers or directors to have told the cinematographers um, on how to shoot movies or what lines can be uh, implemented into certain movies to either make the script flow or make the conversation flow and all that stuff. Um, I also, what do I do? Oh, I like going to the mall. Mall is always fun. I'm not a big shopper. You know, I like, um, but I like going to uh, check out the video games at the mall, I like walking around the food court. Um, you know, I love going to uh, film festivals. That's always good. Um, Cause I meet, not just because of the films, but also because I get to meet intellectual creatives who are also currently working in the process on becoming successful. Like I like meeting um, new and interesting people because it's always good to uh, to see what they're doing, to see what they got going on and to uh, see what projects uh, for them are going to be next. So um, I'm also um, a host, I'm also a DJ. So I love to spin on the ones and twos. So that's, that's great. I did that for some time and uh, I enjoy playing the top hits old school from what the 60s or let I me mean, go back further the 50s the 60s the 70s the 80s the 90s the 2000s and 2010s and the two you know 2020s i like playing all those hits really more so <laughs> like the 90s uh no what's it 90s um and i also have a variety of uh music that i like from different decades i'm just a music fanatic when it comes to uh the songs i like um more specifically um, and I'm also, uh, I was about to say something else. I said, I'm a DJ. I like doing that. I like talking, meeting new people. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I like doing. Um, and oh, and I also like working on new projects with, uh, new friends, like just generating or just being a part of some writing groups, because in these groups, I also just, uh, I'm able to learn how to better myself as a writer as, and as an artist. Um, in that um, department. So that's always a good thing. I mean, I know that's kind of related to the things that I already do, but you know, like, but when you're generating or brainstorming ideas, it's kind of like, oh yeah, you know, I get to talk with my friends, I get to pick their brains and I get to see um, what they're thinking on how we can make this project really good or a lot better. So yeah, that's another thing I like doing. I, uh, I enjoy doing that as well. I also like to travel. I do like to travel. I haven't traveled very much lately but traveling is always good so yeah because of the lockdown there's not much there's not a lot of traveling going on yeah so yeah. what what measures have you taken in the lockdown i noticed that you mentioned previously that you're doing other things like live streaming and just things that you can do but what are some of the other things that you like to do during the lockdown period uh definitely I've been doing a lot of writing for sure um writing has been uh, uh my biggest main go-to uh, I've written my first motivational speech. I've done, um, what is that? A lot of scripts. I've written a lot of scripts. So those are the biggest thing. Was, writing is the, one of the biggest things I've been doing. Uh, you said live streaming. I've done that as well. And uh, at times, uh, I don't tell nobody. I mean, everybody else knows, is going to know. At times, I like to kind of get out and get a little bit of exercise. And I need to do more of that. But that's something that I like doing as well. Because, you know, you got to stay in shape. Maybe mm -hmm. take a walk down the street, you know, and a run back. Um, I actually did that yesterday, and that's always refreshing. Of course, you know, you stand clear of people, you keep your mask on, you practice social distancing. Um, but yeah, that's uh, something else I like doing. Uh, the measures, uh, as far as like the measures go, like I've been doing everything I just mentioned, you know, practicing social distancing. Um, you know, like if I speak to someone, I have a mask on. I had a few interviews that came up or whatever. And of course, I wore my mask. So, you know, those are the measures I'm taking. I typically really don't leave the house a lot unless I have. The only time I leave the house is if I have to go to uh, the store, of course, to get food um, or if time for, you know, here and there or whatever. When I go out running or something like that, then I'll leave the house. But usually I. I don't leave the house or, you know, probably got to wash the clothes, got to keep those up to date. But yeah, like unless I'm doing something that I need to do, I typically don't leave the house for real. So, yeah. Well, I think it's been a very successful interview so far. You've discussed about you, your professions, what you do, your political beliefs or insights. 
Now I just need to hear from you your message to the world and we can wrap this up and we'd love to have you back on the show again, but I like to keep the episodes around 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. So what is your current message to the world? My current message to the world is to stay positive and keep God first. Um, I know things seem drastic right now and things are not cool. We're currently in the first stage or first phase of stage two. Um, at the same time, just keep God first. Trust God. You know, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Just know God is in control and you can trust and lean on God to get you through any pandemic or any situation that you may be going through. So and just also know that this only lasts for a season. You know, it's, I mean, it's only going to last for so long. You know what I'm saying? Let me not say season, but only for so long. Um, it's going to be over eventually and we're going to be back to how we were before. I just know, I just want everyone to know this, be stronger and more prepared to go back into the world than when you were, when we went into quarantine, you know, have things done, have projects lined up and just be more successful in your own regard. And even before all of that, have a stronger relationship with Christ and stay with Christ. Okay. Because that is the most important thing of all. Amen. To that. Thank you very much for coming on today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for the guests listening. Um, I appreciate you all tuning in and uh, yeah, um, I'll definitely be reaching out to Eric and, uh, and everyone else. Y'all stay healthy. God bless and take care. Peace be with you. All right. Thank okay, bye-bye.